All right, ladies and germs, you already know what it is. I can't believe I said that. I am so white. This is Terratech. This is Terratech, and we're going to be playing a new game. I'm probably going to be skipping most of the tutorial for you because that's boring as hell, and you can't skip it currently. Well, unless you're watching the video. All right. So if you haven't already heard, uh, Terratech is the new hotness indie title on Steam. Well, not really that new, but it's been around. Um, and the goal is to take little blocks, stick them on the side of your other blocks, stick guns on top of those blocks, and drill for resources in your spare time when you're not killing shit. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Don't know why it lagged. The controls are a little bit weird, especially considering the driving physics are a little bit wonky, but besides that, once you get used to them, you should be fine. This guy should not, because... Yeah, he's... He's pretty fucked. Bye. And immediately we get arguably a better gun. There's a column of smoke. And hi, mini drill nose. And now he's dead too. So we're gonna take the blocks from the other techs. We're gonna stick them on the side of our tech. Is there another block? I think I'm gonna stick this one on the back. And nah, not a light right now. We don't need that. One of these. It looks wonky as hell, but you know what? It will do. I'm going to require a solar generator. The solar generator is the thing that generates electricity from solar power. Basically when the sun's out during this uh, real-time day-night cycle it will generate electricity for you which is useful. There's a geothermal generator later in the game but it doesn't seem to work right now so that's that's just something to keep your eye on. This game is in early access of course well, it is an indie title, that's basically the go-to. I think I see... I think I see flat land all the way in the distance, by which I mean a salt flat. They're the best places to build your base, because they are very flat, as the name might suggest. Wait... I remember what happened last time. Yeah, last time in the episodes you're not going to see because I deleted them because they were botched. The um the solar generator and the repair bubble that I got, see these two items. They disappeared on me. They disappeared on me. I put them down in a salt flat. I think it was way too far away for the quest to actually work with them that when I put my radar on my thing, it they, they just didn't show up, they disappeared. What we need to be doing right now is gathering up all the blocks we can, taking all the stuff back to our base, farming resources, which we can't right now since we don't get the tractor pad until later, later in the tutorial, so we'll be fine. You see, I'm mining out the tree here, and I'm getting resource blocks. These are wood, as you would imagine from a tree. I get this battery out of the tree because it was stuck in there after I landed. Yeah, the story goes, um, you're a mining company, well, you're working for a mining company because Earth has depleted all of its resources and um, yeah everything's desolate you need to go off to another planet and farm resources from there deplete 
everyone else's resources because, you know, the human race is parasitic like that or something. I, what are you trying to say? <laughs> yeah, we're going to take this battery here. We're going to stick it on our generator. And you'll see that red dot is beginning to charge. Which means we will soon have power. The shield, the, um, the solar generator does not work at night, as you might expect. So, what we're going to need is that battery in order for it to run through the night. Now this, this wheel, yeah, these slightly bigger wheels, these are really important. These are the best wheels that GSO has, really. The wheels that GSO get are not much bigger than this. The only other wheel that might be better are the uh, ones on giant struts that make you tall like a fucking monster truck. But they aren't that good because unless your tech is wide, you're going to be tipping over all over the place. So. I've already done this tutorial a few times, so I know that as soon as we do the next part of the quest, which is approach the trading station, there's going to be some asshole called the Trader Troll waiting for us. So what we need to do is grab the shield, which is already on our taxi right here. That's the shield bubble. We need to grab the shield, and we need to take the battery to power it. And we need to drive on over there and hope to fuck he dies before we do. The best idea is to get around behind him. Because he doesn't have much guns on the back. More importantly, we need to knock out his battery. Because batteries in this game explode. Not fun. You ever notice how batteries in real life say, do not dispose of in fire? Well, this is why. They, they, they will explode. They will explode. It's, it's really good for you, because it means they die faster, but it's, it's really bad for them. Unless, of course, you're the one with the battery and you're trying to defend it. Alright, we're running out of battery juice. We need to back up. And hope to penis that he decides to leave us alone on our way there. Oh god, get off my tail! Get off me! Ah! Get away from me! Run! Take the scanner bug, not me! Oh yeah, he's he's lost interest. Alright, so what we're gonna do is go all the back way back to our base which is conveniently close because I didn't feel like going all the way out away from the tutorials and search for a flatland. You can get generators that power things from uh, burning coal and fuel. But again, that isn't until a bit later, so we won't be seeing those just yet. I've heard this game described as Hold Space Bar Simulator, which I, I think is a little bit unfair. But you know what, if that's how you feel about it, I, I can't change your mind. Alright, so we have another battery, and another heal bubble, and another shield generator. So we can take this shield generator, go all the back to our house, our base, and um use it there so that our blocks don't get destroyed while we're away. If that even happens. I'm still not sure if techs, enemy techs will come at, while you're away and destroy your shit. I think you need to be close to your stuff for people to come and attack. I don't think the devs are that cruel. Because otherwise it'd be like, have you ever played one of those uh, PvP survival games where everyone is out for your blood. <laughs> everyone is out for your blood. It's like Daisy or Rust or something. Everyone wants your ass, and if you let your guard down or you go away and have a sleep or something, and you come back the next day after you have your sleep, 
all of your stuff is missing and all your characters are dead or whatever. Alright, so we have this. This is the trade station. We can sell blocks like this. We can sell small blocks like this. Sometimes you can't sell things. There, there are some blocks that you can't sell here. But selling the some of the blocks off of the trader troll is a good way to start making money right away because a lot of the GSO blocks will sell for like around a hundred bucks. BBs. I've heard of that described as big bucks. I just call them BBs. I suppose if you're immature you could call them big boobs, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not Jack guy. Speaking of Jacksepticeye, they have a lot of references to people in this game. One of which is Jacksepticeye. The Eye of a Bossatronio from the planet Bossatron. I have a love-hate relationship with this man. But anyways. There are filters to see what blocks you want. It's a little bit clunky, but besides that, it seems alright. And what we need right now, though is, well, battery cells, but what we really need is a couple of thimble tractor pads. It's telling me to buy only one, but I'm going to say two because this helps me get more resources in a shorter amount of time. Well, it helps me carry resources anyway. Luckily, there's a few resource nodes around here, so we just uh, mine stuff out with our guns. We take this, what is this, plumbite? Yeah, that's plumbite ore. It's like great concrete stuff. And we take it to the trading station, and we build stuff out of it. Or, we sell it. Now, eventually, we're going to have a base. Eventually, we're going to make a bigger base than what we have right now. So that we can sell stuff, buy stuff, all the way all the way from home, rather than having to go to the trading station every time we want to sell something or buy something. Which is a lot better, considering the, the tutorial, at least, tells you that enemy techs like to set up next to this place. And if my minimap is telling me anything, that is relatively true. Hi there, Scanner Sniffer. Tell you what, we're gonna wreck the hell out of you. Wreck the hell out of him, and he's gone. Alright, I'm gonna stick that there. Usually I have a repair bubble and a shield bubble on top of my tech, but recently I have pretty much decided that it's probably best in the name of uh, battery energy consumption to only have a shield bubble. Now, um, bigger thing, bigger guns like the one ton cannon, which you will get later in the game, can actually blast damage through shields. Which is not fun, but this can be rectified somewhat by sticking a repair generator on your tech as well as a shield generator so that if anything gets splash damaged inside of your shields, you can just repair it. It's still best to keep your distance from anything with a Megaton Cannon until uh, you get multiple ones yourself. And of course, we're capable of pretty much destroying anything we f see outright because we got four guns currently. Nothing on the back, which might be seen as a weakness. But honestly, this thing's relatively fast. Until we start getting Geocorp blocks, which we might very soon if I go out and grab stuff from this guy way out here. Um, the Geocorp uh, blocks are big and slow. 
like this guy. Let's see, does this guy have any guns? I'm pretty sure this guy has a few guns. I can't quite see. Oh yeah, he's got guns. Two guns. Hey buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Alright, what I'm gonna want to do is kite him so that I'm out of his guns range. Mostly. But I can still hit him with my twin lasers on the front. So that he dies like that. And, with a little bit of a lag spike, I get a Geocorp license upgrade to grade 1. Which means I get these big wheels. Yay! But yeah, this is how the, this is how the game starts out. It's, it's relatively slow. It's, it, it is a slow start. It gets a lot better once you get the uh, Singularity Containment Unit. The SCU, which is basically your block inventory, it sucks blocks into it like a giant black hole vacuum. And stores blocks for you. It's incredibly useful. Because then you don't have all these stupid blocks lying all over the place causing new lag and grief when you're trying to fight. I've said it multiple times, it really sucks when you have all these blocks lying around when you're trying to fight and you're just tripping over them with your low ass tech. Your low to the ground tech. This sucks a whole lot of dick. I know it's been a slow start, I, I honestly think it's going to be a lot better once we get into the game and I actually have stuff to show off to you. I'll get that done in the meantime, in between episodes, and it'll be great. And when you come back, you'll see a whole bunch of cool stuff. You! Take another solar generator. When we come back, this little place is probably going to be, like... A whole bunch of refineries, a little selling thing... It's, it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love my nuts!